of course he tired, then he got hungry, or just like a human being, you know. But uh, you can imagine then that his, his ministry around here. But after that, after he ministered around here, then the, you know, people uh, take a, uh, you know, what? Well, okay, Jesus is a very, very funny guy, but, uh, you know, strange guy. He, his message is so, so powerful, and also uh, people got, the, uh, you know, healed through that, that one. So anyway, three things in the chapter, of uh, chapter 4, Matthew chapter 4, verse 23 and 4, Jesus actually teach, you know, and also he actually preach. What's the difference between teaching and preaching? Preaching means uh, uh, guidance of the Holy Spirit, and then some, you know, led by the Spirit, then teach, you know, what for the people. But the teaching, teaching is uh, more like like an Old Testament type of one, you know, yeah. Then uh, actually continuously teaching, like uh, nowadays. In the church, then our, you know, uh, people, then teaching means uh, uh, from the uh, uh, pick up the, the book of the Matthew or uh, Mark or uh, Luke or uh, you know John, then the every week and just a progress chapter one and today and the next week chapter two or something, just to cover, the, you know, so the entire entire books, you know. Something like that. So that's why teaching and the preaching are different. Even in a church, you know, preaching and also we call Sunday school, you know, teaching and then, then the certain subjects. But anyway, three things, like I said, then one, teaching and also preaching. And the third things, then he kind of perform and show then healing. You know, that's what he did, you know. So our class, our class so far, we finished in, uh, you know, teaching and, uh, you know, preaching, you know, almost. Then the next one, then the, I, I like to, uh, three weeks after, uh, after then the, I like to show you, then the, teach you uh, healing in the Bible. That's very important. Then the... You know, not only just the world got the people got the sick, you know. Then yesterday one of the lady called me, then the, uh, so what's happening? Then the, her friend, like a maybe 60 or 70 years old guy, then he died anyway, you know. So then he just, uh, she, she just visited his house and the, the, he, he, he actually dead, you know. Then program, then the something heart disease or uh, something, uh, you know, serious about. But anyway, so I'm not talking. I'm not a physician, okay. <laughs> I'm not a physician, but uh, I like to show you what he has done, and also what he teach our healing. Then the you know like more like an emotional healing and also physical healing. Then that's what Jesus did there, okay? Then the, after you learn something from the Bible, then you can help other people or you are relative or somebody. Okay, that's another, another thing. So that's why, like, uh, uh, you know, she just read the, this uh, chapter 4, Matthew chapter 4, 23, 24, so this one's a his his uh, ministry, his project or whatever, you know. So that's what uh, you know. I, I just explained three things, three things, folks, and uh, one one uh, uh, like a teaching, teaching the Bible, and the second one and the preaching, preaching explain and. Uh, uh, see what uh, Jesus uh, got uh, 
you know, message from the Holy Spirit. Because, you know, according to the Bible, he never, he never went to school. You know, I, I just, yeah. So then the, uh, so he got the, he got the idea from the, of course, a parent, parent, uh, you know, Joseph and the man. But uh, Joseph died then the, you know, uh, early, you know, early time. So that's why another a son, Jesus' uh, brother, half brother, okay. Then the James and the Jude. So those, those are another sisters, but uh, uh, that's a half brother. Then, the, you know, different uh, father. So that's a, uh, so far then the Jesus never wrote a book. He never wrote uh, any book or uh, any poetry or uh, something. Then the, he just uh, boldly tell the people. Then people listen and uh, wrote, you know, book. Then the first one, then Matthew, he is a tax collector. And the second one, second one, the Mark, Mark, Mark is kind of spoiled boy, but uh, you know maybe rich family or something. Luke is a doctor, physician, and John is a, a fisherman and uh, very much uh, good, uh, you know, brain, you know. So that's why he. He's the only one, then the other folks, then the, all the died by the you know, cross or something. But the John never died. He, he, he's alive at 90, uh, maybe four years old or something. Then the, he, he's the uh, oldest uh, kind of elder, you know, elder. So then the, he. He actually uh, wrote a book, okay? He wrote, John, John wrote a book, the first, uh, uh, you know, book of John. Then also this book is very, very unique. You know, chapter one, okay? Yeah, read, read the chapter, John, book of John, the gospel of According to the John, then chapter one, verse one to maybe four or five, yeah. Okay? Chapter one. Chapter one, yeah. So this, you can see kind of uniqueness of uh, lighting and also he is a kind of picture he wrote is different than the other people. Yeah. Go ahead. In the beginning was the Word, and uh, the Word was God. The Word was the God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life. In Him was life. And uh, that life was the light of man. Mm, yeah. Then He just uh, used like a very much a natural you know, kind of phenomena. He used a word. Word means the word of God and the word, right? This one. Yeah. Then, uh, also, he used light. Light, light is the most uh, high, highest uh, speed travel, you know, light. So that's why many, many times use I use a, 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 like a kind of parable or light, you know. So Jesus, Jesus is the light of the world, and also, if you don't have a light, then you don't see. So actually, darkness. So that's why he just illustrated, and this world is so dark, you know, confusion everything. Yeah, you look at the 
now the world you, you don't see that the you know since I involved uh, kind of media then uh, so many war in this in this world so it looks like the United States is kind of safe place to hide yes. okay so next one next one the, this is the uh, first jam you know kind of you know same type of the style to roll this one yeah chapter one verse one and the two okay first John this is also John wrote in a book This one's also same style, you know. Uh, Book of John started in the. He 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 said in the beginning, in the beginning. So then people ask and what's in the beginning? Beginning mean the beginning, you know. But he just used such a strong word, then said in the beginning. But now Jesus become like a more uh, God. God means is in the invisible, you know, invisible God. Same thing then the Holy Spirit, then you don't see like uh, Jesus has then the God. Only you can see, you know, uh, you know, He's talking about. Only you can see Jesus. That, that's why then the, you, you know you can touch Him. You know, he touched anyway. So that's why even a God in the in, in visible. But uh, he trying to explain then Jesus is a God, but uh, more like uh, I can touch, more manifest his body and, uh, you know, okay now, then the second one, uh, second John, this is only one, one chapter, you know, verse one, two, three, yeah, okay. The elder the chosen lady and her children whom I love in the truth and not at only not at only but also all who know the truth because of the truth which lives in us and will be with us forever hmm. grace mercy and peace from God the Father and from Jesus Christ the Father's Son <coughs> will be with us in the truth and love. It was given me great joy to find some of our children working in the truth, just as the Father commanded us. And now, dear lady, I am not writing you a new command, but, all, but one we have had from the beginning, I ask that we love one another. Yeah. So John, the only one he described and show then the, like a human love type of the one, and also God love. You know, God love we call uh, agape. You know, agape then the, uh, normally uh, no, you know, this love, then nothing expect other people, just uh, give, you know, love. Then another like human love, then we call filio. Uh, you know, filio meaning from the philosophy. You know, philosophy means love of the uh, uh, wisdom or something. That's philosophy means, uh, philosophy. Sophia means is a love type of love. Filio means uh, uh, like a more... Uh, intellectual one, then the uh, filio means uh, Philadelphia, so another mm -hmm. word, 
more like a friendly love or something. That's what the, uh, you know, John is talking about. Okay, now, third John, another third John, and the next, next one, this one, the, oh, oh, uh, we got, uh, uh, you know, third John. Okay, this one's only one chapter, okay? Okay, go ahead. The elder to my dear friends, Gaius, whom I love in the truth. Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. I give me, uh, it gave me great joy to have some brothers come and uh, tell about your faithfulness to the truth and how you continue to walk in the truth. I have no great greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Dear friend, you are faithful in what you are doing for the brothers, even though they are stronger to you. They have told the church about your love you will do well to send them on their way in the manner worthy of God. It was for the sake of the name that they went they went out, receiving no help with the pendants of heaven. We ought therefore to show hospitality to such men so that we may work together for the truth. I wrote to the church, but Dio Trephus, who loves to be first, will have nothing to do with us. So if I come, I will call attention to what he is doing, gossiping malicious, malicious malicious mm -hmm. about us. Not satisfied with that, he refuses to welcome the brothers. He also stops those who want to do so and puts them out of the church. Dear friend, do not imitate what is evil but what is good. Anyone who does what is good is from God. Anyone who does what is evil has not seen God. Demetrius is well, is well spoken of by everyone, and even by the truth itself. We also speak well of him, and you know that your testimony is true. I have much to write to write to you, but I do not want to do so with pen and ink. I hope to see you soon. And we will, we will talk face to face. Peace to you, the friends. Here send their greetings. Greet the friends there by name. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and also last one. Then the Revelation, Revelation uh, to John. Next one. Uh, next one is a Jew. Jew is a Jesus brother. You know, half brother. Okay, this this guy. This is very, very powerful uh, writing, but only just one chapter, you know. Then he understands the Holy Spirit and, then the, of course, brother, but he never, he never understands uh, uh, Jesus as a God or, uh, you know, like a, uh, you know, divine, you know, human being until he got the resurrected, resurrected, body resurrected. You know, before, no, my brother, the neighbor, or something. You know? So that's what uh, uh, this guy. And also, okay, you, you can read uh, Revelation chapter 1 and verse uh, 1 to maybe <coughs> uh, uh, 10. Okay. Did you? <coughs> yeah. This is a very powerful one, and uh, he's a good reader. Oh, okay, <laughs> go ahead. Chapter 1, what? Chapter 1, <coughs> verse 1 to 10. 
The revelation from Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants what was to take place, he made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who testifies to everything he saw, that is, the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Blessed is the one who reads aloud, <coughs> aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear it and take to heart what is written in it, because time is near. John, to the seven churches in the province of Asia, <clears throat> Grace and peace to you from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood, and has made us to be a kingdom and priests to serve his God and Father, to him, to him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Look, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, and all peoples on earth will mourn because of him. So shall it be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is, and who was, and who is to come, and Almighty. I, John, your brother and companion in the suffering and kingdom and patient endurance that are ours in Jesus, was on the island of because of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. On the Lord's day, I was in the spirit and I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Then especially this, uh, you know, uh, John, he's a disciple, one of the disciples. Then Jesus actually picked him and choose, choose him. Then he, he uh, uh, walked with uh, uh, John. He's a dear like a son, more like a brother or something. So that's why entire Bible, New Testament, and then many, many times, then John, he loved, and uh, I mean, uh, Jesus loved the John. Then, uh, after, after many, many years, he uh, never appeared in the Bible. So this one, uh, John was uh, 90, some six years old. And then Jesus died at the age of 33 and a half. So that's why uh, uh, between uh, uh, this point, he's uh, almost the uh, end of his life, last life, then he wrote this uh, uh, book of Revelation, okay? So then, uh, then you can imagine that just chapter one, yeah, he, he read this one. Uh, and uh, verse 10, this is a remarkable things happen. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Lord's day means is not Sunday, you know. This is uh, this time then the uh, Roman Empire then the so powerful and some empire then very much charismatic. Then everybody come on the Sunday or Saturday, you know, come and listen. You know, very much a powerful guy. Yeah, just like a Hitler type of guy. So then everybody go, but, the, you know, at the, at the same day, he got a, a remarkable meeting with uh, Jesus Christ. Okay, he died already, you know, like uh, 60 years ago or something. He, he said, uh, <clears throat> John said, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet. Because Jesus uh, uh, walked with John for three and a half years. Then John probably age of uh, uh, 16 then joined uh, Jesus' ministry. Or, uh, he was a fisherman. Then Peter and John and both uh, fishermen. Then they meet Jesus. And Jesus, he, Jesus, uh, he picked him and choose him then as a disciple then uh, he remembered voice you know of course Jesus voice yeah so then this is a very very interesting meeting reunion with Jesus uh, Christ so now you know we just uh, read the book of John you know John and uh, First John and the Second John, Third John, and also Revelation. That's what uh, 
uh, this book uh, written by the apostle, you know, Chan. Okay, so later maybe you guys read the book, this one, and quite interesting. So I can't explain or tell everything, but just uh, idea like a glance, you know, ideas. Okay, yeah. So any question? Anybody? If you have any question, otherwise then today is a day uh, kind of little quiz. Okay, very simple. But the most of one everybody learn. Okay, all it. Okay, just. You know. I think that's enough uh, paper. Okay. 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 Uh, 